For today's video, we are going to talk about what is limit at infinity and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, what is the value of limit of x squared as x approaches positive infinity? So let's say for example, x is equal to 10 and if we are going to square this one, it will give us 100. And if the value of x is 100 and 100 square is 10,000. What if, if the value of x is 1,000? And if we are going to square 1,000, it will give us 1 million. So therefore, if we are going to substitute the value of x in this expression that is infinity, therefore, we are going to have positive infinity square it will give us positive infinity, and this will be our answer. On example number two, what is the value of limit of 5x squared as x approaches positive infinity? So to find the value of this expression, let us have 5, and let us substitute the value of x, which is positive infinity, and then let us have a square. Let us rewrite 5, and then positive infinity square that is positive infinity and 5 multiplied by positive infinity still positive infinity and this will be our answer on example number three what is the limit of negative 3 x square as x approaches positive infinity so let us have negative 3 and the value of x which is positive infinity and let us have a square. Let's write negative 3. Positive infinity square. That is positive infinity. Negative 3 multiplied by positive infinity. So as you can see, negative multiplied by positive is negative. And we have negative infinity. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have limit of x square as x approaches negative infinity. So as you can see in the given set of example, the value of x is negative infinity. So how can we find the value of the given limit? So just like what we did in the previous example, all we have to do is to substitute the value of x. So let us have x squared. It will give us negative infinity square. Negative multiplied by negative or negative infinity raised to 2. That is positive infinity. Number five, limit of 8x squared as x approaches negative infinity. So let us have 8 multiplied by the value of x, which is negative infinity, and then let us square. Let us write 8, and then negative infinity raised to 2, that is positive infinity. And 8 multiplied by positive infinity is still positive infinity. On number 6, we have limit of negative 3x squared as x approaches negative infinity. So let us have negative 3. And then we have negative infinity square. Let us write negative 3. Negative infinity square, that is positive infinity and negative 3 multiplied by positive infinity so we have negative multiplied by positive is negative so we have negative infinity on example number seven what is the value of limit of x cubed as x approaches positive infinity so let's say for example if we have x cubed that means we have x multiplied by x times x so if we are going to have the value of x which is positive infinity we are going to have positive infinity raised to 3 that is positive times positive times positive and that is positive infinity and this will be our answer so let's say for example if we have limit of x cubed as x approaches negative infinity that means we are going to have negative 
times negative times negative. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. So therefore, negative infinity raised to 3, it will give us negative infinity. On example number 8, we have limit of 3x cubed as x approaches positive infinity. So let us have 3 times the value of x which is positive infinity. Let us have cube. So let us rewrite 3. Positive infinity raised to 3 and that is positive infinity. And 3 multiplied by positive infinity that is positive infinity. What if if we are going to have limit of 3x cubed as x approaches negative infinity. So let us have 3 and let us have negative infinity raised to 3. Let us write 3. We all know that negative infinity raised to 3 is negative infinity. And 3 multiplied by negative infinity, that is negative infinity. On example number 9, we have limit of negative 2x cubed as x approaches positive infinity. So let us have negative 2 times the value of x which is positive infinity raised to 3. So let us write negative 2 and then positive infinity raised to 3 that is positive infinity. And negative 2 times positive infinity is negative infinity. So if you are going to have limit of negative 2x cubed as x approaches negative infinity, it will give us negative 2 times negative infinity raised to 3. Negative 2, negative infinity raised to 3 is negative infinity. And negative 2 times negative infinity, the answer is positive infinity. On example number 10, we have limit of 4 plus 5x minus x cubed as x approaches negative infinity. So how can you find the value of the given limit? So let's say for example, the value of x is 10. And if we are going to use this expression, let us have 4 plus 5x minus x cubed. Let us substitute the value of x which is 10. That is 4 plus 5 times 10 minus 10 cubed. So let us have 4 plus 50 minus 10 cubed. That is 10 times 10 times 10. That is 1000. So as you can see, the value of this expression is greater than the value of this expression. So that means... In evaluating this kind of limit, we are going to disregard 4 and 5x. So this will be limit of negative x cubed as x approaches negative infinity. So let us have negative times negative infinity raised to 3. Again, negative times negative times negative, that is negative. So this will be negative times negative infinity raised to 3 that is negative infinity. And negative multiplied by negative infinity, the answer is positive infinity. On example number 11, let us have limit of 5x raised, raised to 3 minus 3x raised to 4 as x approaches positive infinity. So we are going to disregard this one because the exponent of negative 3x is 4. That is higher than 3. So this will be limit of negative 3x raised to 4 as x approaches positive infinity. So let us have negative 3 and then let us have the value of x which is positive infinity raised to 4. So this will be negative infinity or negative 3. So Positive infinity raised to 4, that is positive 
infinity. And negative 3 times positive infinity, the answer is negative infinity. On example number 12, limit of 1 over x as x approaches positive infinity. So how can we find the limits of a rational function? Always remember, for n real number n, the limit of 1 over x raised to n as x approaches positive infinity is always equal to 0. And the limit of 1 over x raised to n as x approaches negative infinity is always equal to 0. And there are three conditions that you need to remember. First, let us have n equals m. n, that is the exponent of the numerator, and m is the exponent of the denominator. If n is equal to m, the value of the limit is a over b. a, that is the coefficient of the numerator, and b, that is the coefficient of the denominator. Second, if the value of n is greater than m, the value of the limit is 0, which is same with the previous example. Number 3, if the value of n is greater than m, the value of the limit is does not exist. Now, in the given example, we have 1 over x, so therefore, the value of this limit is 0, and this will be our answer. On example number 13, limit of 2x plus 5 all over 3x minus x squared as x approaches positive infinity. So as you can see, the exponent of the denominator is greater than the exponent of the numerator. So in this case, the value of this limit is equal to 0. But for the sake of practice, let me show you the solution. First, let us multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over x squared. So it will give us 2x over x squared plus 5 over x squared all over 3x over x squared minus x square divide by x square so let us simplify so if you are going to simplify this one let us have 2 over x plus 5 over x square all over 3 over x minus 1 and then let us rewrite this one as 2 times 1 over x plus 5 times 1 over x square and then 3 times 1 over x minus 1. We all know that the limit of 1 over x is equal to 0 together with 1 over x square. So this will be 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 all over 3 times 0 minus 1. So 2 times 0, that is 0, plus 5 times 0 is 0, and then 3 times 0 is 0 minus 1. It will give us 0 over negative 1, and that is 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 14, limit of 8x squared minus 5x all over 2x squared plus 7 as x approaches positive infinity. So this time, the exponent of the numerator and denominator are equal. So therefore, the answer is a over b that is 8 over 2 or simply 4. So let me show you the solution. First, let us write this one as limit of 8x squared minus 5x all over 2x squared plus 7 as x approaches positive infinity. So let us multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over 
x square. So this will be limit as x approaches infinity, and that is 8x square over x square minus 5x over x square all over 2x square over x square plus 7 over x square. So this will be limit of x approaches positive infinity. It will give us 8 minus 5 over x all over 2 plus 7 over x square. So let us have 8 minus 5 times 1 over x all over 2 minus 7 times 1 over x square. So this will be 8 minus 5. The value of limit of 1 over x that is 0. And let us have on the denominator that is 2 minus 7. And the value of this one is also 0. So we are going to cancel this one. It will give us 8 over 2 or simply on our last example, limit of 4x cubed minus 8x all over 7x squared plus 2 as x approaches positive infinity. So this time, the exponent of the numerator is greater than the exponent of the denominator. So that means this limit does not exist. So let me show you the solution. First, let us write this one as limit of 4x cubed minus 8x all over 7x squared plus 2 as x approaches positive infinity. So let us multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over x cubed. That is the highest exponent. So this will be limit of x approaches positive infinity and that is 4 x cubed over x cubed minus 8x over x cubed all over 7x squared over x cubed plus 2 over x cubed. So let us simplify. Let us have limit of x approaches positive infinity. And that is 4 minus 8 over x square all over 7 over x plus 2 over x cubed. So let us have 4 minus 8 multiplied by 1 over x square all over 7 times 1 over x plus 2 times 1 over x cubed. So let us have 4 minus 8 and the limit of 1 over x squared that is 0 and then let us have 7. The limit of 1 over x is 0 plus 2 and the limit of 1 over x cubed is also 0. So let us, let us have 4 minus 0, and then 7 times 0, and then 2 times 0, that is 0 plus 0, it will give us 4 over 0, that is undefined. So that means the value of this limit does not exist, and this will be our answer. So I hope you learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.